I ask, uh, but I ask you, so you make the point that's 10 years ago, and I appreciate mm -hmm. that, but you know, it's only recently you said of Israel, it's a crazy country, it's like a junkie. Every few years they go to war, they need their fix, they're mm -hmm. lunatics. American yeah. Jews don't want to defend that. Yeah, and Israel is carrying on in a lunatic fashion. I would like to ask you... you and Hezbollah, you, you, who you, you went to meet? I, I would like to ask you, name me another country in the world. 2003, Israel was the cheerleaders for the war in Iraq. 2006, it went into war in Lebanon. 2008, 2009, it attacked Gaza. Now it talks about attacking Iran. If, yeah, you, read you, the, if you read the Israeli papers every day, they talk about, should we attack Gaza? Should we attack Lebanon? Should we attack Syria? Name me, one other, name me another country in the world that falls you, into that category. Well, there are, That's a is, lunatic state. Israel would point to a number mm. of its neighbors you know, and say exactly no, the same no, thing. No, no, you show me how many countries... How many countries has Iran planned to attack? No, let's ask a simple question. How many countries in the last 10 years has Iran attacked? When you look... No, that's a fair question. When you, How many countries in the last 10 years has Iran attacked? When you look at the history attacked? of Israel, mm -hmm. do you not have some sympathy or understanding, mm -hmm. people would ask, as to why they feel threatened and well, why they We're not talking about consider. why they feel threatened. We're talking about a country that every two or three years goes to war. And if you follow the press, as I do, every day they talk about, let's attack this country, let's attack that country. That's not normal. So and when, we, when and I call the so lunatic why state, is it that the Israeli mm -hmm. people vote in this government that you say is responsible well, for that? I, I think it's a regrettable fact. I don't, whole, say, whole, I mean, I don't say I, I don't say these things with glee. I'm not happy about that fact, as the American economist, the Nobel laureate Paul Krugman, put it in the New York Times last week. He said it's perfectly obvious Israel's headed towards national suicide. It's become a crazy state. And he says it's not good for Jews, it's not good for the world, where Israel is headed. And yet it's, I have still, seen, it's said, still seen, of I've course, as the said, safe haven, well, the homeland for the Jews. Well, you have a right to live there, although you're banned. Right. Would you, would you <laughs> go back? I think that's a contradiction in terms, but we'll leave that aside.